Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to demonstrate to you a plugin, Filament plugin called Versionable by Mansoor Khan, who created a Filament version, Filament wrapper on top of Laravel package, Laravel Versionable, with visual layer to view the past revisions of model changes and restore them if needed. I have installed it and tried it out and let's see how it works. First, the visual demo. So I have a very simple contacts resource with just one field of name and I've edited that contact a few times and then I see revisions here in addition to edit. So these records do not have any revisions or changes, but if we click here, we have the history. So the revision list is on the right and you can navigate with previous and next and see the actual changes of the fields and restore the revision that you want. So roll back to previous changes. Now how to install it and configure it. If we go to the official GitHub of that plugin, the installation is pretty simple. Compose require, publish the migrations and then migrate the structure. The structure is this. The database has a table of versions with polymorphic relations to the model and then contents with JSON field of what changes have been made by which user. So pretty simple and it comes from the underlying Laravel package. To make it work you need to add a versionable trait to your model with what fields to make versionable and which strategy. I just used the default snapshot. I didn't dig deeper into what other strategies are available. So I did exactly that in my contact model. So use versionable, versionable one field and the strategy with a few use on top. So that's the Laravel eloquent part of the preparation. Now, if we go deeper, we need to prepare filament stuff. First, you need to generate the page for revisions for that specific resource. And the package documentation doesn't say how to do that. So I will remind you that in the filament docs, there's make filament page. So you need to do exactly that, make filament page. In my case, the page was contact revisions, then resource contact resource and type custom. It generated a filament page like this inside of app filament contact resource pages. In addition to create, edit and list pages and for versionable to work, a few changes are needed. So instead of extends page, you need to extend revision page and then we don't need to return the view. Then we need to register that page inside of contact resource in the get pages. In addition to those three, we need to add one more. And for example, we can assign the URL revisions, but that's up to you. And finally, you need to enable the actions. So the links in the table in the same contact resource in the table actions, you add revisions action make and be careful. There are two revisions action classes. There's if we open up the use section, there's table revision action and page revision action. We will get to that. So in the table, we have this as a result, as I've shown you. And by the way, the documentation is incorrect here. It says in the filter, it should be not in the filters, but if we scroll down in the actions and I will make a pull request to the readme after shooting this video. So that's how you add that to the table, but you can also add that to the edit page. So we go to the edit and we can see revisions here on top, right? So to edit that, we need to add an action. So in the edit contact page in the get header actions, in addition to the default delete action, we add revisions action. And in this case, it's a page revisions action, not tables, revisions, action. And again, readme file is not ideal here. It says get actions, but it should be get header actions. At least in my case, I made it visible in the header. And yeah, that link then goes to the same revisions page of that specific contact. What do you think about this plugin? I'm sure it will be pretty useful for many of you. And if you want more reviews of more plugins for filament and general filament videos, subscribe to the channel. I will keep shooting more videos. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.